Tesla Semi with Pepsi logo shown being towed. January 7, 2023. Tesla officially unveiled its production electric Semi and started deliveries not long ago. PepsiCo and its subsidiary Frito-Lay were the first to take delivery. And we've heard the beverage company has already had the Semi out on trips. Some people have spotted the Tesla Semi being towed, posted images on social media, and started a bit of a frenzy. Did the Tesla Semi already break down? At this point, there's really no way to know for sure what happened. We do know that PepsiCo has already begun using some 36 Tesla Semis not long after taking delivery. If there were a host of problems already, we might have at least heard something. But who knows? The Tesla electric hauler surely could have broken down. We've actually seen images of some seemingly stranded Tesla semis ahead of the deliveries. According to Electrek, it's actually not that uncommon for this to happen at the very beginning of a new vehicle program. Not to mention that a 500-mile range fully electric semi-truck is certainly a bit of an outlier among today's new vehicle programs. On the other hand, Pepsi could simply be transporting the semi for one reason or another. It could be low on battery capacity with no practical charging situation close by. Or there could be another story that we're not even considering. Electrek writes that the first images of the Tesla Semi being towed were posted on the R Real Tesla subreddit, which the publication claims is a typical source of negative Tesla news. All it takes is a quick search on Twitter or Facebook to learn that many of the people seeing the image also had negative comments to share. Based on reports, the Tesla Semi was seen in Sacramento, California, near a PepsiCo location that aims to use 21 of the new electric haulers. Onlookers reported that it may have broken down and was being transported to a different location. While Tesla doesn't share much, especially when it comes to issues, hopefully, we'll learn more of the story going forward. If the Semi was, in fact, broken down, it would be nice to know what happened. Was it simply in need of a charge? Was there an incident? Are there any safety concerns? Well be on the lookout for more details about the Tesla Semi being towed. If some concrete information becomes available, we will share it here. In the meantime, head down to the comment section and let us know your thoughts. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take. I will be interested to see how the Semi does. Over the next few years. New Tesla Supercharger Lot Design Makes It Easier to Charge When Towing January 7, 2023, Tesla's supercharger network is arguably the world's largest EV charging chain. With over 40,000 stalls globally that offer up to 250 kilowatts of power. But it's not perfect, and Tesla drivers who tow frequently know it better than anybody else. Traditionally, a Tesla supercharger location has its charging posts installed in such a way that you need to pull in or back into the parking space. This isn't ideal for those towing a trailer, as the trailer might block access to the other charging stalls, depending on how the driver chooses to park the car. If the location is full, as is sometimes the case, the trailer might even have to be unhitched, which isn't exactly comfortable, but with a new lot design shown by Tesla, this won't be necessary anymore. Published in a tweet on the company's Tesla charging account, the redesigned supercharger lot that was opened in Clipliff, Denmark has a total of 24 posts, eight of which are in the middle of the lot, allowing drivers to pull through and allowing sufficient space for trailers. All of the stalls are of the V3 variety and are capable of delivering up to 250 kilowatts to both Tesla EVs and other non-Tesla vehicles with CCS compatibility. In other words, it's one of the lots that are part of the company's pilot program that allows any type of EV with a CCS plug to recharge at its locations. It's an interesting design that seems to maximize available space. But as one commenter pointed out on Twitter, it isn't the first supercharger lot that offers pull-through parking. A similar location was spotted in Manteca, California, where the perimeter drive location has 20, 150 kilowatts stalls arranged in such a way that allows pulling through with a trailer. There's even a photo posted on Google Maps showing a Model Y charging with a trailer attached. With Tesla ramping up production and deliveries, while also preparing the launch of the Cybertruck and new Roadster. It was just a matter of time until it came up with new and improved designs for its supercharger lots. What are your thoughts on this new design? Let us know in the comments below. Source. Reposted and summarized from Julian Neistran at InsideEVS.com. My take. 
Tesla is always thinking outside the box to make it work for as many people as possible. Tesla and Rivian sales plus EV tax credit. January 7, 2023. Happy New Year. This week, we have news on Tesla sales, Rivian sales, and EV taxes credits. Our top EV news for the week of January 6, 2023. Bio. John is the coup at EPG, a company focused on helping electric and autonomous vehicle companies hire the best talent. In addition to these services, EPG puts out an informative weekly newsletter dubbed Mobility EVO. Q4 Tesla. In the fourth quarter of 2022, Tesla produced over 439,000 vehicles and delivered over 405,000 vehicles. In 2022, vehicle deliveries grew 40% YoY to 1.31 million while production grew 47% YoY to 1.37 million. The Model 3 and Model Y made up around 95% of the total vehicles produced and delivered. Tesla will hold a live Q&A webcast on Wednesday, January 25, 2023, at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time to discuss the company's financial and business results and outlook. Tesla will post its financial results for the fourth quarter and a full year after the market closes on January 25. So close. Rivian produced 10,020 vehicles at its facility in Illinois and delivered 8,054 vehicles during the same period. For the full year of 2022, Rivian produced 24,337 vehicles and delivered 20,332 vehicles. The goal for Rivian was 25,000 vehicles produced. So just slightly off from the target. Dot. New. Who doesn't enjoy a good skim of the IRS website? especially when it involves reducing your taxes. The U.S. federal government offers a tax credit of up to $7,500 for the purchase of a new qualified plug-in EV or FCV that was placed in service on or after January 1, 2023, and meets certain income limitations. To be eligible for the credit, the vehicle must have undergone final assembly in North America and have an MSRP of no more than $80,000 for vans, sport utility vehicles, and pickup trucks, or $55,000 for other vehicles. The manufacturer determines the eligibility of specific vehicles and must meet these requirements. To determine if a specific vehicle meets the assembly requirements, the vehicle's VIN can be checked using the Department of Energy's VIN decoder tool. The tax credit criteria for vehicles purchased in 2022 or earlier are different. Used. Don't you enjoy talking about taxes this time of year? How about potentially reducing your taxes for purchasing a used EV starting on January 1, 2023, if you buy a qualified used EV or FCV for $25,000 or less from a licensed dealer? You may be eligible for a used clean vehicle tax credit. The credit is equal to 30% of the sale price, up to a maximum of $4,000, and is non-refundable. To be eligible, you must be an individual who bought the vehicle for personal use and not resale not the original owner, not be claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return, and not have claimed another used clean vehicle credit in the three years prior to the purchase. Your modified adjusted gross income must also be below certain thresholds based on your filing status. In addition, the vehicle must have a model year at least two years prior to the year of purchase. Have a gross vehicle weight rating of fewer than 14,000 pounds. Have a battery capacity of at least 7 kilowatt hours and be primarily used in the United States. To claim the credit, you must complete Form 8936 and include the VIN. Source. Reposted and summarized from John Rooney at InsideEVS.com. My take. Let's hope that 2023 is better for Tesla than 2022 was. Tesla Model S and X get round steering wheel as standard yoke optional. January 7th, 2023. You may have started seeing reports that Tesla is now offering a round steering wheel for its refreshed Model S and Model X vehicles. While this is true, those stories really should say that the round steering wheel is now standard. In fact, when you configure the EVs on Tesla's website, it defaults to the round wheel. If you want the yoke, you have to choose it, though it doesn't cost extra. Many people have complained about the Model S yoke ever since the refreshed flagship vehicle and high performance plaid version came to market. While many have admitted that they eventually got used to it, they didn't have much choice. Many certainly weren't thrilled about it. 
Some drivers and publications even went so far as to say it could be a safety concern. The updated Model X SUV eventually arrived with only a yoke as well. On the flip side, the yoke was definitely unique. And some people who tried it thought it was fun. They seemed excited to have a Tesla that looked more like a race car. However, regardless of anyone's opinions about the yoke, it arguably would have made sense if Tesla at least gave buyers the option between a round steering wheel or a yoke. Some folks even reached out to CEO Elon Musk with such a request. Though he shot it down. Now, Tesla has once again surprised people by quietly adding the round steering wheel as the standard default for both the Model S and Model X. We figured perhaps the plaid versions would default to the yoke, but they also come standard with the traditional steering wheel. It seems Tesla is really working hard these days to provide every opportunity to get new buyers into its vehicles. The reason for the yoke may have been at least partly due to the novelty and the discussion controversy it would create. However, it also ensures there's no obstacle in front of the driver that could make it more difficult to see the gauge cluster. Plus, it keeps the driver's hands at 9 and 3. Musk also mentioned that as Tesla's vehicles become more and more automated, the driver won't need to provide as much input. So the yoke is sort of a look at the future. At any rate, let us know if you imagined this would eventually happen. Do you like the yoke? Do you think it's generally a bad idea? Leave us your thoughts in the comments section below. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take. Good idea as some people do not like the yoke wheel. Tesla semi-spacious driver focused cabin. January 7, 2023, Tesla unveiled more information about the finalized design of its semi at a delivery event in December. During the presentation, CEO Elon Musk spoke with Tesla semi-senior engineer Dan Priestley about the electric truck's driver focused interior. Tesla semi cabin is built around the driver, said Priestley about the semi's interior cabin and driver space. The Tesla Semi Cabin is far from the traditional internal combustion engine truck cabin, as its roomier design allows for the driver to freely stand upright. Even tall people are easily able to stand inside the cabin. As Priestley explains, Tesla also showed the following video clip, where a driver enters the Tesla Semi Cabin, takes off his jacket, and hangs it on the rear wall of the truck's cabin. It's not a sleeper cab. It's a day cab, Priestley added. The most interesting design change from traditional ice trucks is the Tesla Semi's driver's seat, which is positioned directly in the cabin's center. According to Musk, the positioning seat is meant to offer maximum visibility with the help of the Semi's various cameras and sensors. As I said, it's as easy to drive as a Model 3. Like, with basically no training you can drive this. You know, you got to think bigger when you're driving it but it's not hard to drive it's really easy. We put the seat in the center for maximum visibility. And you can stand up in the cabin. Musk said, by no training. Elon Musk means that drivers who are already well versed in driving a Tesla vehicle will easily be able to drive the Semi. For drivers with previous experience driving a Tesla vehicle, the Tesla Semi should be easy to transition to. As shown in the Tesla Semi cabin picture above, Tesla has provided ample storage space on the driver's right hand side. The driver can store beverages snacks and other items for long trips. The Tesla Semi also has wireless phone charging. In the above image and video, you can see another seat behind the driver on the right, offering space for a companion or an assistant driver. The most attractive features of the Tesla Semi interior are its dual 15-inch screens on both sides of the dashboard. These are the same screens used in the Tesla Model 3, and the dashboard's clean minimal design also resonates with the Model 3. Why theme? Tesla delivered the first batch of the Tesla semi trucks to PepsiCo in recent weeks. The multinational beverage maker placed an order for 100 Tesla semis in 2017 and received the first units from the delivery after five years of working closely with the automaker. Source reposted and summarized from Avanex at InsideEVS.com. My take the Tesla semi makes me want to become a trucker.